and the world is mi familia. For this music is my language and the world is mi familia. This music is my language. <laughs> All right, Nino. It, it's you. You you are that boy, the, the one who came from the land of the living. You know about me? <laughs> you are all anyone has been talking about. Why have you come here? I'm Miguel. Your, your great-great-grandson. I have a great-great-grandson? <laughs> Hola, Miguel. Hola. At Pixar, research is crucial to our storytelling. And with Coco, we got to visit the beautiful country of Mexico. This movie, you want it to all be rooted in actual places and actual people. So it was really important to us to see kind of the breadth of Mexico and how many different cultures and traditions there are. We visited big cities and little towns, multi-generational family businesses of shoemakers. For art, for story and characters, it was just so informative. We were experiencing the colors and the smells and the sights and this incredible food. Have some more. No, gracias. See? <laughs> That's what I thought you said. The beautiful architecture, the papel picado, the alabrijes, all of that is brought into the film in all these different ways. And those early research trips not only inspired the look, but they inspired the story and the importance of family. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> we learned so much of, from remembering family. Where you come from. No music. And where you're going. I'm gonna be a musician! And as the story came together, we realized the movie was gonna be about music as much as it's about family. We wanted the score to feel like it was born out of this world. So that meant using a lot of instruments indigenous to Mexico. And it's been great to have Jermaine Franco and Camilo go down and record in Mexico City. We had over 50 musicians playing all different styles. Banda style, norteño, jarocho, mariachi. It was fantastic. Showtime, chamaco! We had la creme de la creme of Mexican talent, which helped showcase the sonic landscape that Mexico has. We shot a lot of reference footage, so the animators can make every chord and every little subtle bit of playing accurate. Not bad for a dead guy. I think that's pretty amazing. They put so much work and feeling into the songs. It makes you want to go... Not so bad yourself, gordito. I was very pleased and astonished to see the amount of preparation the directors have taken to develop everything. The music, the color, the story, the characters. That's why Pixar films are so amazing. They are films that will last forever. <laughs> I feel incredibly fortunate to have spent time with all the beautiful people that we've met. It's a dream come true to be able to put my own family's experiences into a film that's as special as Coco. And I'm so excited to share this film with the world. Hey, animated movie fans, I hope you liked the video. Would you give it thumbs up or down? I've got a cool movie fact for you about The Lion King. Now, the name of the movie seems pretty straightforward, right? But did you know that its original title was actually King of the Jungle? Marketing materials and merchandise had even been made before the studio realized lions don't live in the jungle. <laughs> Now, if you haven't already done it, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell. That's the little bell next to the subscribe button to always receive the latest trailers the moment they are online. See you next time.